Hey guys, it's Mr. Zamora. So we're gonna work on proofs. So this is for your second practice on IXL. Uh, it is proofs involving quadrilaterals, part one, um, code V7W. So let's get right to it. This first one is asking me to complete a proof. Uh, asking me to prove that angle I is congruent to angle G, all right? So we're talking about angle I and angle G, all right? And maybe they look like they're the same size, but we can't just uh, take that for granted. We have to actually, we have to actually prove that. So let's see what's given. All right, given is information that well, it's been given to you. Um, it tells me GH is the same as FI. That's that's this little mark right here. GH and FI are congruent. So that's a given statement um, in this two-column proof. FG is congruent to HI. FG and HI, so that's why you have two marks, meaning that these two sides are the same, all right? But not necessarily the same to the other two sides. That's why you have a different mark, all right? And then, then it makes a, a bold statement right here. It says FH is the same as FH. Now, why, why would it say that? Well, uh, some of you might say, well, that's common sense. If you say a line segment is equal to itself, right? Um, formally, you call that the reflexive property, all right? The reflexive property of congruence, all right? That might be something you want to jot down in your notes. So what we've essentially shown is step four, statement four, that the two triangles are the same. Uh, we need to have, though, we need to have a reason for that. Why are the two triangles the same? Well, I've shown that all three sides are the same. So that is, if you remember from math two, that is the theorem side, side, side. All right, that tells me that the two triangles are the same. And last, if the two triangles are the same, then those two angles, I and G, notice how they're sandwiched in between uh, side one and side two, right, with the marks, they have to be the same. So there is a, a word for that, there's a phrase for that, and it's uh, CPCTC, and that means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, all right? So that is how you prove that those two angles are the same in that quadrilateral, all right? And it says that we're brilliant, okay? Um, moving right on along, I'm going to jump several levels all right, because these are, you can see that these are very similar problems. And it's not until you really get to a, you know, well, we could, we could try this guy right here. Uh, let's jump up one more level uh, since it's the same one. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's kind of saying, okay, let's go, let's go through this one from scratch. So let's see, it says GH is congruent to FG. So let's go ahead and mark that. GH is congruent to FG. Notice how I mark that. Then it says EF is congruent to EH. So EF, and I'm going to use two marks, is congruent to EH. It benefits you to draw this, all right? Complete the proof that angle F, angle F is congruent to angle H, all right? It looks like they're going to be the same. Let's see why. So um, let's run through our, our reasons. GH and FG are the same. Well, that was given to me, all right? That was at the very beginning beginning given to me all right same ef and eh that was also given to me all right so i'm looking through all these reasons there's a lot of phrases right there then it says okay eg is supposed to be the same as eg well we went through something similar in the previous proof uh, a side is equivalent to itself by the reflexive property so yeah we're going to go with the reflexive property and you might notice well this proof is basically the same as the uh the last one that we did, so reflexive property of congruence. We're saying congruence because we have the congruence symbol, all right? And now, apparently, EFG, triangle EFG, so EFG, is congruent to triangle EHG. Notice how it follows um, the correct order right there to name the triangles. Well, if all three sides are the same, then we're going to say that those two are the same by side, 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 and therefore the angles are the same because of CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. That's how you run through that proof right there. All right. Um, hopefully that hopefully this have some help. All right. Um, you want to go through these and and basically uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to spend time on this. It is okay if you don't get a 100, but you should strive for at least a 90. Um, try to get as high of a score as you can. Uh, send me questions if you have. Uh, this is mostly a review, um, but still.